In this video, we're going to show you how to add your company logo to either a statement or a super bill. In this example, we're actually going to be doing on a statement. So I'm already here in statement management. I'm going to go ahead and edit the one we want. So we're going to go to reports, design custom reports and bills. And we're going to open one. And this is the one we would normally use. We're going to choose this one. First thing we want to do is change the name. So that way, if we mess this one up, at least the original is still going to be there. So we're going to change this to payments, deductions. We've got enough room in there. We're going to do it with logo. So we're just going to do logo. Okay. The first thing we want to do is add the element. And up here on the top toolbar near the middle are all the elements that you have available. And we're going to go over that in another video down the road. But right now we're just going to deal with the one here on the end called images. We're going to plant, click it and then plant the plant it right there and open it up by double clicking and you see we have a nice little blank spot we're going to load the image and I have one right here on the desktop that we want and we're going to stretch that to fulfill the height and weight okay so now we want to fix it so it's going to be the right size and shape for what we want and we're going to put it right back here And what we want to do is make this kind of what's called a watermark. What that means is it's going to appear behind the text in a nice little grayed out area. As you can see, our graphic here is a little gray. So what we want to do is now that we have a place, we're going to go ahead and choose properties. Make sure everything's good. Stretch, load image. We're okay there. We're going to right click and then send to back. And now you notice that it's now behind all this. But that also raises another problem because these fields here that are set up here, the practice name and street and such, they're going to print a white background. So they're going to cover it up just kind of like you see here. They're going to cover up that logo. So we want to go and open that up like the practice name by double clicking. And down at the bottom, we want to make it a transparent background. We want to do that to all the elements that are here. And we don't have to actually double click on them. We can actually also right click and choose properties and that'll get us to the same window. And once that's all done, all right, we're going to save it. And then we're going to print some statements. Print paper. And see here we have our new one with logo. We're going to choose that one. And we're going to preview it on the screen so we can see how it's going to look. And there you go. You can see the nice little logos behind all that printing. And that's how we do it. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, let us know by giving us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to write those in the comment section below. And if you want to get more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks!